Hello everyone. Welcome to the Botany Optional Channel for the UPSC examination. In today's lecture, we are going to see the application of microbiology in the field of agriculture. So, in our syllabus, we have in a paper one, we have first unit called microbiology and the plant pathology. In this chapter, we have here the applications of microbiology in the agriculture. The applications of the microbiology in agriculture can be broadly studied under the three headings, namely the microbes can be used as a biocontrol agents in the agricultural fields. Second, microbes can be used as a herbicides or weedicides in an agricultural field or microbes can also be used as a biofertilizers in the agricultures. All right. So under these three, three headings, we are going to see the applications of the microbes in the field of agriculture. So now first, we are going to see the microbes as a biocontrol agent. Now, what is meant by biocontrol? The use of microbes in controlling plant diseases or pest is called biocontrol. All right. So the biocontrol may be defined as the microbes used for the controlling the plant diseases or the plant pest. Then such a control, we called it as a biocontrol. Now this biocontrol can be done using the four different types of organisms. First are bacteria. Second, fungi. Third, protozoan and the fourth viruses. These four categories of the living organisms can be useful for the biocontrol purpose. Each, each of these have the specific host range and they avoid the development of these hosts in the agricultural field. That is why they literally avoid the disease causing agents in the agriculture. That is why they are said to be the biocontrol agents. That is so for the bacteria, we have Bacillus thuringiensis. This Bacillus thuringiensis is able to avoid the development of many harmful organisms like butterflies, Aedes, black files, etc. So the bacteria called the Bacillus thuringiensis is able to avoid the development of butterflies, Aedes, black flies, etc. And uh, all these uh, organisms are harmful for the agricultural field. That is why indirectly bacteria are doing the biocontrol. All right. This uh, Bacillus thuringiensis, you, you may have heard about this because this is the famous uh, Bt. And from the gene of this Bacillus thuringiensis, we have Bt cotton. That is the gene of Bacillus thuringiensis has been transferred into the cotton. And that is why that plant is famously called as the Bt cotton. All right. Second we have here is a fungi. The example for the fungi is a Bihuveria bassiana. Now this fungus called Bihuveria and bassiana mainly avoids the development of aphids, mealybugs, mites and white flies etc. So the fungus called <laughs> Bihuveria bassiana can avoid the development of aphids, mealy flies, mites or say white flies etc all these are again very harmful for the agricultural fields next we have is a protozoan the example for the protozoan we have is a nosema locusti now this protozoan is able to avoid the development of grasshopper caterpillar crickets etc the protozoan namely nosema locusti can avoid the development of grasshoppers caterpillars and the crickets in a agricultural field Lastly, we have virus. The example for the virus is a nucleopolyhedrovirus. Now, this nucleopolyhedrovirus is able to avoid the development of gypsy moth and caterpillar larvae. So, the four class of these organisms, that is the bacteria, fungus, protozoan, and virus, are useful in the biocontrol. Biocontrol is nothing but the the microbes which are used for the controlling of the plant and diseases and the in an agricultural field. We have seen the example for each category. In bacteria, we have Bacillus thuringiensis. Fungi, we have Bivaria bassiana. In protozoan, we have Nosema locusti. And in virus, we have Nucleopolyhedra virus. All right. And we have discussed the host range of everyone. So let's move to the second application of microbiology in an agriculture. Second, we have here that the microbes can be used as a herbicide or say weedicides. 
all right herbicides nitrolimiums those uh, unwanted herbs are killed by the certain microbes there are such a microbes we call them as a herbicides that is herbicide used to kill the unwanted herbs in the uh, agricultural field in this we have example of a patho pathogenic fungi that is myco herbicides all right so in this we have example of a myco herbicides the first example is phytophthora palmiora second fungus we have alternaria crassa third example of the fungus we have is a species of fusarium so all these three fungus are used as a myco myco herbicides to kill the unwanted herbs in the agricultural field all right so these three fungus can be considered as a herbicides or the weedicides in the agriculture the three examples we have to remember is a phytophthora palmiora alternaria crassa and the species of fusarium all these three species are belonging to the kingdom fungi while we call them myco herbicides because they act as a herbicides in the field of agriculture all right and uh, you have to remember the example right at least one or two examples you have to remember of myco herbicides that can be used in the agricultural field to avoid the unwanted development of weeds in a agriculture the next application of microbes we have is a uh, they act as a biofertilizers the microbes which are used as a biofertilizers are primarily the nitrogen fixing bacteria which uh, fix the atmospheric nitrogen and enrich the which the soil hence they are increase the productivity of the soil uh, so the microbes which are used as a biofertilizers are mostly the nitrogen fixing bacteria which fix the atmospheric nitrogen to enrich the soil now we have three different types of bio nitrogen fixing bacteria they are bacterial biofertilizers second cyanobacterial biofertilizers and third fungal biofertilizers so the nitrogen fixing bacteria can be broadly classified into the three categories first are the bacterial biofertilizers second is the cyanobacterial biofertilizer and third is the fungal biofertilizers we in the bacterial biofertilizers we have the nitrogen uh, fixing bacteria is like rhizobium this is very important to remember rhizobium is a bacterial species that that is used for the fixation of atmospheric nitrogen in an agricultural field which forms the symbiotic association with the roots of leguminous plants plus uh, this rhizobium forms the symbiotic association with the roots of the leguminous plants and in the roots of leguminous plants this rhizobium fix the atmospheric nitrogen and this nitrogen that can be used by the plant for the synthesis of various biomolecules now symbiotic association we have discussed about this association before as well symbiotic association is those associations in which the both these partners that is here in this case the rhizobium and the leguminous plants both gets benefited that is why this relationship is called symbiotic relationship so the rhizobium being living in the roots of the leguminous plant provides nitrogen to the plant and uh, in return the plants provide food plus shelter to the rhizobium species in this way the both the partners get benefited all right the second example for this is a free living nitrogen fixing bacteria is called azatobacter this azatobacter also fix the atmospheric nitrogen and it's a free living bacteria that means it does not form any associations like rhizobium rhizobium just form the symbiotic association with the leguminous plants but azatobacter being the free living don't form any association with any other organism they are just present in a soil and they fix the atmospheric nitrogen and the atmospheric nitrogen is enriched the soil that is why indirectly they are benefiting the plants all right so we have bacterial biofertilizers where we have the example of the rhizobium which has the symbiotic relationship with the roots of leguminous plant on the other hand we have azatobacter which is a free living bacteria in the soil which also fix the atmospheric nitrogen the second we have here is the cyanobacterial biofertilizer as you know cyanobacteria are also called as the blue green algae and we have a famous example of nostoc 
you must have heard this nest of organism which belongs to the cyanobacterial group in the kingdom monera and the cyanobacteria were also called as the blue green algae these cyanobacteria like nest of have a special sites in their body is called heterocysts these heterocyst cells are specialized in the fixing of atmospheric nitrogen all right so the nest of which belongs to the cyanobacteria has a special cells like a heterocyst where nitrogen fixation can be takes place and in this way they fix the atmospheric nitrogen so this is the first example second example for the cyanobacteria we we have is a anabina this anabina forms the symbiotic association with the fern called azola now the symbiotic association between the anabina and azola able to fix the atmospheric nitrogen so in a cyanobacterial biofertilizer we have nest of and the anabina which can which are able to fill the atmospheric nitrogen third we have here is the fungal biofertilizers in a fungal biofertilizers we have mycorrhiza relationship now what is a mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is the relationship between the fungus and higher plants fungus often have a symbiotic relationship with the higher plants and that combination is called the mycorrhiza all right there are two types of of this mycorrhiza first is the ectomycorrhiza i will say endomycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza and the endomycorrhiza this ectomycorrhiza is present on the surface of roots of the higher plants while the endomycorrhiza present inside the roots of higher plants all right now both this ectomycorrhiza and the endomycorrhiza increases the surface area of the roots and which in turn increase the nutrients uptake and this increase in the nutrient uptake make the plants very healthy and luxuriant in the growth all right that means these are fungal biofertilizers uh, that is the mycorrhiza which is the combination of fungus and the higher plants uh, mycorrhiza is of two types called ectomycorrhiza and the endomycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza present uh, on the surface of roots of higher plants and the endomycorrhiza present inside the roots of higher plants both these do the function of increasing the surface area of the higher plants which in turn increase the nutrient uptake by the plants and this is how they are helpful in the agriculture as well so in the macrogaza biofertilizer we have seen the three types called bacterial biofertilizer then second cyanobacterial biofertilizer and the third fungal biofertilizer in the bacterial biofertilizer we have seen the rhizobium and the azadobacter two examples rhizobium is the symbiotic association with the roots of the leguminous plants while the azadobacter is the free living bacteria in the soil secondly we have seen the cyanobacterial biofertilizer which are also called as blue green algae and we have seen the two two examples namely nostox and the anabina anabina again form the symbiotic association with the fern called azola in the fungal biofertilizer we have seen the mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is nothing but the combination of fungus with the higher plants so the mycorrhiza is again are of two types ectomycorrhiza and the endomycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza are present on the surface of the roots while the endomycorrhiza present inside the roots and both these increase the surface area of the root for the absorption of nutrients due to this the plants have a very luxuriant growth and the healthy body so we have seen the three application three broad applications of the microbiology in the agricultural field first was being the microbes as a biocontrol agents in that we have seen the four categories called bacteria fungus protozoa and the viruses plus one example for each of them and their host range in the next part we have seen the microbes used as the herbicides or weedicides in that we have seen the myco herbicides namely three fungus we have discussed first is the phytophthora Palmiora. Second is Alternaria crassa, and uh, third is this species of Fusarium. And in the microbes of biofertilizers, we have seen the three types of microbes which are can be used as a biofertilizer. First is the bacterial biofertilizer. Second, cyanobacterial biofertilizer, and finally, fungal biofertilizer. In a bacterial biofertilizer, we have seen Rhizobium and the Azadobacter. In cyanobacteria, Nostoga and Anabina. And in fungal biofertilizer, Mycorrhizae, that is the Ectomycorrhizae and the Endomycorrhizae. Hope you have understand this topic. So, if you like this lecture, please like like the video, give thumbs up. And if you hadn't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to the Botany of Nature for the UPSC examination.
we are regularly uploading the video relating with the subject called botany and if you are studying studying the subject botany please subscribe to this channel and please press that bell icon without pressing that bell icon you will not get notified when the videos are uploaded all right so see you soon in the next video thank you for watching